Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be unboxing Insta360 GO 2 and I will be comparing Insta360 GO 2 with my iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you open the box, the very first thing that you will see is the Insta360 GO 2. As you open the next section, you will see the magnet pendant necklace. And it looks like this. You can adjust the necklace as you like. And be sure that this is the side facing outwards because this is where the camera will be sticking onto. Next thing is, you will see this packet of instructions. And here is some stickers and an instruction for your magnet pendant and other instructions that you may need. And next, you will see the cord that you can connect to your camera. Next thing in the box is the easy clip where you can clip it on your hat or a headband. Next in the box is a pivot stand where you can stick it almost anywhere. With this pivot stand, you can also turn it however you like. And last but not the least is your charging pod or your charging case. This case can be a charger, a remote control, or a tripod for your camera. And here's where you can mount your selfie stick and on top of that is your charger. Before you can put your camera in your charging pod, don't forget to remove this red sticker from the back of your camera, otherwise it won't work. And here you can press any key to connect your camera to your charging pod. The right button is your mode button where you can select any options that you like. The left button is for recording. And to remove your camera, you cannot just yank it away from your charging pod, but instead you have to carefully take it out like so. And there you have it, that is everything inside the box, and now let's try it on. First things first is the magnet pendant necklace. First, remove the sticker away from your necklace. And now let's try it on. So first things first, adjust the necklace as you like, put it around your neck and put it under your shirt. Adjust the pendant as you like and now you can stick your camera on your shirt. And try to move around to see if you like where it is positioned. And that is for the necklace and the next one is the easy clip. For this one, it's a little bit hard to adjust, but that's how you know it's going to be stable. So first things first, you need a cap or a headband where you can clip it on. And then you can easily attach your camera on it. And the next is my favorite, the pivot stand. First things first, you can attach your camera on your pivot stand and you can adjust the direction as you like. And next is remove the base by sliding it off. And then you can stick it to any flat surface. 
and you can remove it by carefully taking it off from one side. And don't forget to put back the base. And once more, this is how you remove the base by sliding it off. And you can also use this as a camera holder like a selfie stick. And last but not the least is the charging pod where you can use it as a tripod by pulling out the stands from the back. You can adjust the settings and control your camera through your phone by downloading the app for it and connecting your camera with it. Up next is the comparison of Insta360 GO 2 and iPhone 12 Pro Max at night and before sunset. On your right is Insta360 GO 2 and on your left is iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you can see, iPhone 12 Pro Max is a lot brighter than Insta360 GO 2. However, as we turn to the corner, Insta360 GO 2 has smoother transition than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. With the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the surroundings looks as if there is still a little bit of sun, whereas the Insta360 GO 2 has a bit more realistic lighting to it. Insta360 GO 2 when shaken shows a bit more stability to it that could be reflected to the setting as compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. With more street light, both cameras show similar brightness to it but you can see more grain with the Insta360 GO 2. The next shot is right before the sunset that will give us more light to our videos. Again on your right Insta360 GO 2 and on your left is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is the audio from iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this is the audio for Insta360 GO 2. In comparison with the audio, iPhone 12 Pro Max is louder than Insta360 GO 2. With daylight shooting, both are bright, however, iPhone 12 Pro Max has more detail to it as it takes more light in than Insta360 GO 2. But then again, with movement, Insta360 GO 2 has smoother face. And there
there you have it. Which camera would you like to use more? iPhone 12 Pro Max provides great detail whether night or daylight. Insta360 GO 2 is perfect for outdoor and action films as it shows stabilization and handy for any occasion for its size and lightweight structure. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye and see you soon!